Today we will be going over the 10 rules of composition. But so, um, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we are avoiding murder. That means that we don't want anybody to ever come in to the thought when we are filming it. Uh, so, and make sure that the camera is focused on one person the entire time. And there's no, uh, yeah, crossing stuff up. Um, so the next, avoid go. So the next one we have is KIT, which stands for Keep It Simple. Keep it simple, stupid. So that basically means it does keep it simple, not damn overly complicated. So the next rule is the biggest, widest, most savory plate placement. So that basically means that when you take a thought of something, that uh, the subject is in the biggest, boldest, widest, most savory place place possible. So it's just really standing out. Very simple rule. Heading out. Very simple rule. Um, where? Okay. So the next one is. Um, I'll go over here. A uh, room for logical movement. So um, this basically means that the. Uh, when you take so next up is room for logical movement. So with room for logical movement, you want to make the person make sure the person can logically move in the flame. You don't want them at the end of the flame when there's no room. You want them at the start of the flame where they have plenty of space to walk in. Uh, in order to do that, then you have to uh, make sure that they're at a logical move where a place where they can logically move. That is logical movement. Not logical movement. This is logical movement. Uh, where? Okay. So, the next thought. So the next rule, I believe this is our fifth rule by now. Um, our next rule is flaming. So, flaming basically... Flaming or framing? Flaming. Flaming. F, uh... It's basically other objects flame what you want to suit. So say I want to suit this, um, I could flame by doing this, and that would that would flame. So the next one, I'll cut. Ah. Um, so the next rule that we have is impact. So impact is a very important rule in the digital media world. And that basically states that you want to have something catch your attention and be very captivating. So you don't want to have something that's boring. You want to have something that's interesting, right? So um, that's just kind of how it works. And uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can film impact. No, do, and, do um, not pull the fire alarm. Um, do not. Do not do it. One, two, three, go. So the, next, so the next one is called leading lines. So that basically means that you want to have lines that lead up to the subject matter here. Uh, so the next one that we have is impact. Right, so do it. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, can we cut it or? No, we don't have tape. All right, go okay. Ahead. Uh, impact. Or, oh, it's cropping. It's cropping. So, um, cropping is when you take like a really big uh, picture, but you don't want to use all of it because there's distracting things in the background. So, with cropping, you just want to take the part of the picture that you want to keep, and you crop that. So, say I take a picture of this but I just want to see this, then I crop, so I only see this. Everybody got that? You can take that back and please pick up the next one. All right, cut, so, action. So the next one is the rule of thirds. So with the rule- Other side, other side, other side. Oh, I'm sorry. So with the rule of thirds, um, when you take a picture, you divide it into thirds. So one third, two third, three third. And then, um, you focus in on one third of the, the thought, and then the lines intersect, the body into thirds, and that's where you want to put your objects, and that's where you want to focus. So the rule of thirds helps with the focus. Uh, next one, please. Oh. 
Oh, hi, here's my uh, pet parrot, Bucky. He's a blue jay. Can you say hi to everybody, Bucky? Yes, he's, uh, he's, very, he's very small and he's two years old and his wings were clipped so he can't fly away from me. But I really enjoy him as a pet. So he's gonna do some co-hosting today, so listen out if you hear any, you know, special chirping that would give you some good advice. Uh, we'll put it back here. So for our last rule, we have balance. So balance basically means you want both sides of the camera even. So here I would just take this off. Now that I'm it's good, it's good.